Hi there, so this is a quick video of one of the ways you can sort of try and sort out if you've got sticky keys, if you've spilt a, a sugary drink or something, it's got behind your keyboard and so when you're pressing some of the buttons they sort of stay down a bit or they're, they're not springing back up as, as quickly as they should. As you can see, the reason why is because what's under them all is these little sort of like scissor, scissor jacks and you can see all the, the sticky, sticky stuff on there. So whatever was spilt on here, so maybe a drink, and you can see it's really like gummed up this mechanism, which is why when you push the key down, it's much harder for these little things to push them back up again. These ones are nice and free, and you can see if I lift them up, they should want to drop straight back again, nice and free. So what you can do, so I just use a little screwdriver, you can get under the keys, and uh, you can be fairly forceful with them really. It's going to be slightly tricky one-handed, but you just got to pull them up. You can hear the little popping as the, the clips come out. Give it a good, good pull, and there we go. That's it. The keys out. So as you can see, this is what it should look like up here. Where I've taken it out, it's already come off nicely, which is which is good. Then what I'm doing is just taking them all out, which is what I've done to all of them, and then putting them in the bowl of warm soapy water just to get rid of all that sticky stuff, and then. On these keys around here to keep the moisture to a minimum, I'm just going to use sort of like little alcohol wipes uh, just to get rid of the sticky stuff there. And show you how easy it is to put the mechanisms together. Found the best way is just sort of when you take them off, leave a couple so you know which way round round they go, and then you can use that for reference. But I find if you can just lay them on top of each other, easier to do straight in your hand rather than one-handed, and then you can just press them into each other like that and then hook one end over and that just pulls and you just push it in and it's done and that's a nice quick way of doing it just like before they just push straight into place so you just lay the key on top and then you hear it clicking in and there you go the key is in straight away these are all so much better you can see in the top of the screen there took a photo of all the keys so I know exactly where they all are um, just because I don't want to put, put one in the wrong place and then uh, yeah, find out later. And that's it, it's done, so all the keys are back on. So these bigger ones, they did have like metal bars behind which made it a bit more interesting. But in general, if you line up nicely, then they all click in absolutely fine. And as you can see, all the keys returning nicely. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.